Hello all of you wonderful people, Jules here for WhatCulture.com. And you know what, whether you're a cheeky chief hunter yourself or not, achievement culture in video games sure is fascinating. To those who simply have no interest in it, the fact that people would willingly spend hundreds of hours chasing the dopamine high of that chief or trophy popping is inexplicable. Yet to those who commit hard to hoovering up as many achievements as humanely possible, it's often THE sole reason to play a video game. But you know what, some achievements are straight up infuriating, intentionally designed to separate the casual from the hardcore, and even the hardcore from the absolute diehards, such that only the top level slice of players have even got a vague chance of getting them. So buckle up, because we're about to get salty and extremely hard. Ooh, a vicar. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are the 10 hardest video game achievements to unlock. Number 10. The Floor is Lava, Overwatch. Now the achievement is get three killing blows while wall riding as Lucio without dying in quick or competitive play. Now this is a major pain in the ass for anyone hoping to tackle every chief this game has to offer, largely because this character is one of the game's toughest heroes to master. Scoring just a single kill as the character is pretty good going, and so racking up three in a single life all while doing only wall riding no less is an absolutely agonizing feat. In addition to the sheer finicky nature of pulling off kills while wall riding, it doesn't help that players have a tendency to steer extra clear of you if they even catch wind of what you're doing. And so, at Present, the achievement has just got a 1.26% completion on Xbox and 2% on PS4, placing it in the ultra-rare category, even if it's still decidedly more doable than some of the other challenges on this list. Number 9. You asked for it, The Evil Within so Capcom's survival horror game The Evil Within boasts a maddeningly difficult achievement that only the most masochistic of players should ever even consider attempting. While it isn't uncommon for tricky achievements to impose strict playthrough restrictions, The Evil Within's You Asked For It demands that they beat the game on Akumu difficulty. In addition to making enemies faster and tougher, even the slightest impact hit will kill you instantly. And so while players don't have to worry about health management, they do have to worry about literally everything else. Even the most trivial enemy is now a colossal, infuriating threat, and because the mode isn't much interest in a balanced or fair experience, only players prepared to master the game's layout and enemy attack patterns have even a chance of making it to the end with their sanity intact. As such, it's little surprise that no more than 0.6% of players across Xbox and PlayStation have ever completed it. Woof. Number 8. The Flapmaster – Goat Simulator Goat Simulator is a game sold almost entirely on its charmingly janky gameplay, which proves something of a nightmare for anyone hoping to platinum or 100% it. The Flapmaster achievement requires players to score 10 points in the Flappy Bird parody minigame, Flappy Goat. Now, it may sound simple enough, but in the vein of the main game itself, the 2D platforming minigame is soul-destroyingly unresponsive. The wildly inconsistent hit detection makes it feel more luck-based than rooted in any actual semblance of skill and so it's often easy to view the achievement as nothing more than yet another irony-laced troll in a game absolutely overflowing with them. Given that you can literally spend an entire day chipping away at this thing without success, it's little surprise that global completion across Xbox and PlayStation ranges from 0.8% to 2.9%. Number 7. Messiah – Outlast 2 if you're absolutely dead set on 100%ing Outlast 2, then Messiah is sure to leave you weeping with indignant rage. In addition to beating the game on the highest insane difficulty, you'll need to beat it without reloading your camera battery even once, meaning that you're effectively relying on natural light, and that, in this game, is next to non-existent. And because that's not cruel enough, Insane Difficulty also has no checkpoints or saves, meaning that death sends you all the way back to the beginning. Unsurprisingly, many determined players have resorted to tweaking the gamma settings of their displays in order to artificially brighten the image, but even so, you'll need to play the game through numerous times on lower difficulties to have much of a fighting chance at getting through one piece in this variant. Given that this achievement is objectively bullshit, it sits around 0.1% completion across all platforms. Number 6. Seriously 5.0 – Gears 5 
<sighs> the seriously achievement has been a tradition of the Gears of War franchise ever since the beginning and represents the ultimate challenge that each game has to offer, such that only players who put all other games aside for an extended period have much of a chance of obtaining it. Gears 5 Seriously 5.0 is characteristically punishing, requiring players to beat the campaign on its highest difficulty, beat the Horde and escape maps on master difficulty, get all launch characters to level 15, hit level 100, and re-up 20 times. And re reach the rank of General in Tor Rewards. Unless you really, really love this game and are prepared to put in months of legwork while foregoing so many other quality gaming experiences, you should never even bother with this. Number 5. Immortal – Ori and the Will of the Wisps Ori and the Will of the Wisps is one of the year's best games, and while getting to the end offers up a fair level of difficulty, that is nothing compared to the gut-wrenching Immortal achievement. Given that even skilled players will die countless times throughout the story, the achievement requires them to beat the game without a single death, and that is bloody demanding. It's so incredibly easy for a simple split-second mistake to be your undoing and ruin the entire run, even with the achievement not counting deaths that occur during chase sequences and being unlockable while playing on any difficulty setting. It's still challenging enough that many players have resorted to desperate tactics, such as following speedrun guides to bypass all the non-mandatory routes or even creating backup saves to use when they do inevitably die, which is basically save scumming in its purest essence. Getting Immortal the hard way, that is, the legit way, is a stamina-annihilating slog, and only 0.17% have actually completed it. Number 4. Super Meat Boy Super Meat Boy Though Platinum Trophies are supposed to be challenging by design, Super Meat Boy is on a whole nother level, and is without question one of the toughest plats to get, and say it with me kids, of all time, I'm so sick of playing this. Crushingly, the trophy requires players to beat all of the game's levels without dying. Though rather than force players to do this in one go, because that's pretty much impossible, each world mercifully gets its own trophy. That said, each world contains 20 levels, and so players have to spend hundreds of hours trying to get the bloody thing. Due to the sheer mind-boggling difficulty of the platforming and the possibility for missed inputs to ruin a clean run, only those with the coolest disposition should ever attempt this. Simply, there's a very strong chance that you'll end up smashing something in your nearby vicinity while trying to platinum Super Meat Boy, and for most, the time investment simply won't be worth the reward, and only 0.2% of players have actually got this. Number 3. LASO Master Halo The Master Chief Collection As wonderful as Halo's Master Chief Collection is, its Lasso Master, or L-A-S-O if you want to be technical about it, achievement is what gamers' nightmares are made of. Lasso stands for Legendary All Skulls On, meaning that players need to beat all of the MCC campaigns, that's all four main Halo games plus ODST and Reach, on legendary difficulty with the difficulty accentuating skulls turned on. Now, skulls basically give enemy combatants a major edge during engagements with significantly boosted health while your own capabilities are majorly reduced, such as the UI being removed or ammo rationed. Oh, and if you die while playing solo, you'll have to start the mission again, so for the sake of your sanity, it's strongly recommended to tackle this one with at least one friend, or better yet, just don't bother at all, because only 0.02% of Xbox players have this achievement. Number 2. Mein Leben Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus there are achievements which ask players to beat games on ludicrously challenging difficulty levels, and then there's Mein Leben, an achievement in Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. This cheat requires players to beat the game on the hardest difficulty, Mein Leben, without dying. Oh, and by the way, there are no checkpoints. Basically, you want to practice extensively on the next toughest difficulty, I Am Death Incarnate, before even thinking about tackling this one. To make matters more irritating, the game has a lot of unskippable in-engine scenes where the player is simply forced to sit back and watch, making it even more of a chore to power through, especially if you end up dying right at the start of the game and have to watch the 10-minute opening over and over. Simply, you need the patience and constitution of a Trappist monk to make it through this, which is why just 0.01% of Xbox owners have unlocked this achievement. Life is too short for nonsense like this. And number 1. World Champion – Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 
Achievement and trophy hunters often complain about how unfair multiplayer-specific requirements are, given the tendency for communities to die off and render achievements near impossible to get. And then there's Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter's World Champion achievement, which can only be received by taking the global number one spot on the game's multiplayer leaderboards. It presents a demand of players so ridiculous that there's a fair argument to be made that it shouldn't really be allowed as an achievement at all. And yet, even in 2020, there are still a few players keenly trying to invest literally thousands of hours while using multiple Xboxes in order to boost their way to the top and steal the number one spot even for just a short time. But you know what, my friends? There are too many good games, too many things to enjoy in life to waste such a significant amount of time on popping this one achievement. So in short, just no. <laughs> And there we go, my friends. Those were the 10 hardest video game achievements to unlock. Let me know what you thought about it down in the comments section below. If you want to chat to me further, you can do so over on Twitter at RetroJ with a zero, or you can swing by Live and Let's Dice. It's my personal gaming channel where I stream every single Wednesday and Sunday. It'd be great to see you over there, my friend. But you know what? Before I go, I just want to say one thing. We detailed today a lot about hard, difficult, brutal achievements that make you feel like you want to give up. You know what, my friend, you should always keep trying, no matter what, because while these achievements might not be the best use of your time, treating yourself with love and respect, that is always a good use of your time. So go out there with love in your hearts instead of hate. Try to build bridges instead of burning them. Forgive yourself for past mistakes. And remember, you deserve love because you're a massive ledge. Now go out there and absolutely smash it. As always, I've been Jules. You have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.